Plastic is everywhere. In fact, plastic is even inside our brains. Vanessa Murdoch spoke with the authors of a new study revealing higher concentrations of plastic. 400 million tons, more than the weight of 1,200 Empire State Buildings. That's how much plastic waste humans create each year. More than 90% ends up in landfills and our oceans, some in our bodies too, including our brains. To see the amounts of plastics that were present um, was surprising to us. Marcus Garcia says University of Mexico research on postmortem kidneys, livers, and brains revealed the presence of nanoplastics, teeny tiny shards of plastic just two to three times the size of a virus. The brain housed more nanoplastics than the liver and kidneys. The white dots in these samples are the nanoplastics. We focused the start on, the, on a part of the brain called the frontal cortex, which is susceptible to dementias. Andrew West with Duke University contributed to the research, which also showed brains with dementia had higher concentrations of nanoplastics than those without. The question is, how does it influence health? And, and I don't think anyone knows. The research does not suggest nanoplastics cause dementia. Dr. Kamal Wagley with Hackensack University Medical Center read the study, calls the findings highly concerning. Plastics in the vasculature of the brain and in immune cells it is very troublesome because uh, that's exactly the central part of the pathology of all dementia. Right now, we don't know anything about how nanoplastics impact our health, says Pam Factor Litvak with Columbia University Medical Center. What we do know is that exposure is ubiquitous and many of the nano and microplastics are included in multiple consumer products, including clothing, food containers, pipes. To be safe, limit exposure. No research continues into how plastic that makes it into our brain impacts our health. Vanessa Murdoch, CBS News, New York.